In our earlier grades, we have studied motion and its types. Let's have a quick review. Let's start with motion. In simple words, if a body is moving, it's described as motion. That's all. In slightly more technical words, motion is defined as a change in the position of a body with time. Yes, change in the position with time. For example, when an object is moving from point A to point B, it's changing its position with time. We saw that the time is also changing along with the position. So it is undergoing motion. What are the types of motion that we had studied previously? We have seen four types of motion. The simplest of all is the rectilinear motion. It is the motion of a body in a straight line. The example that we saw earlier is of a rectilinear motion. Object is moving in a straight line from A to B. There is another type of motion called the circular motion. What can this type of motion be? It is the motion of a body along the circumference of a circle. Example, motion of the earth around the sun is an example of circular motion. The third type of motion that we saw is a rotational motion. It is the motion of a body around a fixed axis which is passing through the object. This is important. The axis has to pass through the object. Example of rotational motion is a ceiling fan rotating along its axle. So you see that if I draw a hypothetical line called the axis of rotation, then it's passing through the fan. And the final type of motion is a periodic motion, which is the motion that repeats itself in equal intervals of time. Can you think of any example of this type of motion? Any object repeating its motion in equal intervals of time will be undergoing periodic motion. Assume an object is moving in circles and is covering each round every 3 seconds. Is it performing a periodic motion? Absolutely! Since it's repeating its motion along the same path every 3 seconds, it is undergoing periodic motion. But wait a moment. This object is moving along the circumference of a circle. So it is also undergoing circular motion. So what can you conclude from this example? We can say that an object can undergo more than one type of motion at the same time. Here are the few of the examples of motion in our everyday life. Go through them well and tell me what type of motion each one of them represents. And note that one example could also have more than one type of motion. The first one is clearly rectilinear motion. It's a car moving along a straight line. The second one is interesting. Most of us would have guessed rectilinear motion after seeing the word straight. Which type of motion are the wheels of an automobile performing? Are they undergoing rotational motion or rectilinear motion or both? Since the automobile is moving in a straight line, its wheels are undergoing both rectilinear and rotational motion at the same time. What about the simple pendulum? We know that a simple pendulum performs to and fro motion. This to and fro motion repeats itself in equal intervals of time. So it's undergoing periodic motion. Now let me ask you a question. Suppose you want to travel to city B from city A. Which mode of transport will get you quicker to the destination? A bicycle or an aeroplane? Obviously an aeroplane. Because the speed of an aeroplane in air is much quicker than the speed of a bicycle on a road. But what is speed? Keep watching our videos to know more.